Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Guy. So, here today in this video, I have the um, Night Maroon, I think is what they're called, the new acronym Blazer Lows collab with Mikey. So there was only 700 pairs of both of the colorways on sneakers in my size, and um, I went for both, and I got both. So that's fun, but you know, Nike has free returns, so if I just, you know, just don't want to keep them, something, something I can do is just send them right back. But, you, you think most, most Nike collabs, or shoe collabs in general, well, most of the Nike collabs, are a little bit more hyped. Um, I think people did like these, but then when it came down to it, when they released, nobody really cared. So I think that's how I managed to get both of them. And they were sitting on a lot of other foot sites too. So that's fun. But it does come with this cool, cool box with this black and white print though. That's really cool. I really like that. But we have Nike Blazer Low acronym seven and a half night maroon. So if you don't know about these, you'll remember once I open this box. But these are my first pair of blazers in general. I've never had a blazer. Um, I do have a custom blazer that's coming. That's kind of going to be like my daily, but I will make a video on that because it's customized and it's kind of cool. But when you open the box, you get this, which I assume has, this is some sort of one of Acronym's branding logos. And then you got the Nike logo and then you got the, what the box design looks like. But on the other side, you have like your instructions because of that plastic piece on the back that you can take off and it comes with an extra one and there's a whole thing that we'll talk about here in this video but it shows you kind of how to do it on that little thing but then you have some acronym paper here you take this and this you got some regular paper and then you have the uh, acronym blue below and night maroon but the they come with the black piece on it and then you get you get a set of orange and you also get some orange laces right there if you can see so kind of would match up with the the tongue for the most part with the like neon orange so now it comes with black laces on there too but but yeah put this down Right, I kind of am more partial to the black pair, which once I get that, which I probably might be getting tomorrow, I'll make a video on that too. But they come with this like, is this plastic or metal? This might just be plastic, I can't tell. But it kind of comes with this, well, it does come with this dog tag. And um, it, they put this on here because, so you could potentially just use this instead of like, a flathead screwdriver but you could just use like a flathead screwdriver to unscrew the pieces there's three on each side you know to take it off and to put on a different one i also did watch a review on these before and there was they were used giving the opportunity to with uh i don't know anything about 3d printing but i think they were had templates so if people did have a 3d printer they could 3D print some cool designs to actually put on the back of this instead of this. Um, I think it would be cool if somehow someone had the capability, if they had a 3D printer, they could make some money off of doing this. Um, but I don't know if that's legal, but I have no idea. But that would be cool. I don't think I would do that. If I do keep one of these pairs, I'd probably keep the black one. But I'm actually, I'm still not sure. But. I'm assuming probably none of you watching maybe went for these, but I just want to know what you guys think because it's one thing to have a distressed shoe, but then it's another to have very strategic cutouts all over it because that is what these are. They are strategic. I do think though, the ones on the sides is kind of like it's acronyms. I don't know if I can accurately show you what I'm talking about. But kind of like these three right here is kind of like 
you know, their, their logo. So actually that is kind of nice. But as for the material on here, it's pretty much, I think, all suede. I think it's all, all suede on the outside. So it feels soft. But it is a very rigid feeling shoe. Like it's pretty, pretty stiff. Like around to the back, it is very stiff. I think, I think originally they were gonna do kind of like a, like make this like, you know, squishable so you easily slip your foot in that way. But still with this being rigid back here, it is kind of easier to get your foot in it probably. <laughs> but, but still, it's just such a strange, strange design overall, but. You got that Nike and acronym on the tongue, and you've got that exposed foam, because I feel like most blazers have an exposed foam tongue. So that's that. All yellow on the inside. It is kind of a strange, you know, colorway to put this dark maroon with this orange, and then this very neon yellow, and then have this piece be blue. And I don't, you can't do anything, I don't think, with this blue. I think you're stuck with it. But it is kind of like a purpley, purpley blue. So. But I don't think you can do anything with that. I don't know if I like the black or if I would prefer the orange on here. Because it kind of makes the tongue seem like a very random orange. I don't know. I think the black there looks better. But let me know your thoughts on this. On this collaboration. I don't know. Also has acronym. You can't, you won't be able to really see it, but it says acronym on the heel there. I just, and also underneath, actually this little tab here is um a little, I what the, I don't know what those are called, but it has the Nike swoosh underneath that. Whatever these button type clasp things are called, I can't think of it right now. I don't know. I guess the dog tag is kind of a cool little thing, but it specifically says use edge to unscrew, he unscrew heel clip. <laughs> if it was just like a cool Nike acronym collab tag, it didn't say that, it'd probably be pretty cool. It'd be more cool, I guess. But I don't think they didn't have too many pairs of these overall, but also the gray sole. Like why does it have to have like four plus different colors? Like, that's a lot of different colors. I don't know. Let me know what you think of this, of this specific colorway on this specific shoe. I will show you guys the black one tomorrow when I get it. But I thought, even though I got these, it'd be a cool content idea. But I don't know, let me know if you went with these. Let me know if, if these were a hard, hard pass. I feel like a lot of people, it was a hard, hard pass, but you know, Nike collabs are cool. I mean, never had a blazer before. I don't know. I feel like I've, if I did wear these, I'd probably match them more with the, the maroon on here than anything else, maybe gray. But as for the orange, the yellow, and this purpley blue, I don't wear any of that. Or just, or just a black outfit too. But I don't know, just thought it'd be cool be able to make a video on these because I don't know if too many people are going to be able to or will because these were slept. I don't know if these were slept on because nobody really cares. But just let me know what you guys think. That's that's pretty much all. All I want to say. Let me know if you were interested in these. Did you did you pass on this one? Go for the black because I feel you. I feel you. But yeah, look out for the black pair tomorrow, hopefully on Valentine's Day. That will be uh, my gift to myself is to make a review on that. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. I, the, the box is cool. Um, I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Do you think I should, should keep them or should I just get rid of them? Because I don't think these have the potential to go up pretty much at all. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all the links down in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content from me. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.